This episode will cover software and the categories of software. Software, the definition. Software is a collection of programs, data, and instructions and tell a computer how to perform specific tasks. Unlike hardware, which refers to the physical components of a computer, software consists of code that runs on hardware to execute operations, automate processes, and provide functionalities to users. Now we shall discuss about the basic classification tree of software. Usually, softwares are categorized in different way on different purposes. However, this tree will show the basic classification of softwares. Then, basically or mainly, there are two types of software. Software are categorized in two types. One is application software and another one is system software. Then application software also classified in general purpose application software or special purpose application software or bespoke application software. On the other hand, system software are classified in operating system and utility program and language translator. Finally, the library programs. So system software are classified in four different categories and application softwares are categorized in three different categories. However, this is the basic classification tree. It would be classified in different way on the basis of different purposes. We shall now discuss about different types of softwares. Here we shall discuss about different softwares on the basis of the functionalities and purposes of their users. We may tell it number one. Number one is system software. System software is responsible for managing hardware and providing a platform for other software to run. It serves as an intermediary between hardware and application software. So system software actually making a bridge between the hardware and application software. We shall discuss some examples of system software. Number one, operating system. So system software are also categorized in different ways. Here it is operating system. Examples are Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS. Next, utility software is another category of system software. Now the example of utility software, it would be antivirus, disk cleanup, file management tools, they are the utility software. Next, the device driver. Printer drivers, graphics drivers are the example of device drivers. There will be much more examples, but, but we have discussed about only these examples here. Next, application software. Application software is designed for end users to perform specific tasks such as word processing, gaming, or communication. Now the examples. Productive software one kind of application software. The examples of this sort of software would be Microsoft Office, like word processor, Excel, Microsoft Excel and so on, or PPT. Then Google Documents, Adobe Photoshop, web browsers like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, multimedia software would be VLC Media Player, Adobe Premiere Pro, gaming software can be minecraft call of duty and so on next category is programming software programming software provides tools that developers use to write test and maintain code so programming software usually assists the programmer to develop new programs now the examples of programming software Compilers and interpreters, a subcategory of programming software. The example would be GCC, Python interpreter. 
Another subcategory is text editors and ideas. The example would be Visual Studio Code, IntelliJ Idea, or Eclipse. Another programming software is debugging tools. The example of debugging tools would be GDB or UnDBG. Next one is middleware. Middleware acts as a bridge between different software applications or systems, enabling them to communicate and share data. So middleware actually making a bridge between two or more software to communicate the data between each other or among each other. The examples of middleware, database middleware, like ODBC, Open Database Connectivity. Messaging middleware would be Apache Kafka, RabbitMQ. API gateways would be Kong or Amazon API Gateway. Next one is embedded software. Embedded software is designed to control hardware specific functions in devices, such as IoT gadgets, automobiles, and medical devices. The example of embedded software would be firmware in smart devices. Firmware in smart devices actually run on IoT devices like smartwatches, routers, and home automation system. Another example would be automotive software. This set of software controls car functionalities like ABS. ABS means anti-lock braking system. Uh, another one is medical equipment software. This set of software manages functions in MRI machines and pacemakers. Now we shall discuss about enterprise application software. These are also application software, but these are specifically developed to perform some enterprise related activities. So special purpose application software for enterprise management is enterprise application software. The example would be ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, or CRM, Customer Relationship Management System, or SCM, Supply Chain Management System, or EAM, Enterprise Asset Management System, or the example of Enterprise Application Software. Now about the softwares categorized based on licensing option. It would be proprietary software. Proprietary software usually like Microsoft Office, Adobe Photoshop, and so on. Open source software would be Linux, Apache HTTP server. Freeware would be VLC Media Player, Mozilla Firefox. Shareware would be Windows. Some game demos would be the example of Shareware. Now the category of software based on deployment location. It would be desktop software. Desktop software is usually installed and run on personal computers. It apply like Microsoft Word, Adobe Photoshop, then web-based software. Uh, this sort of softwares are being accessed via web browsers. It is like Google Docs, Trello, etc. Then mobile apps designed for mobile devices as an example instagram or whatsapp would be mentioned cloud software uh, usually hosted on cloud servers and accessed online the example would be Dropbox, salesforce etc now we shall test our learning outcomes number one what is software option a a set of instructions that tell the computer what to do or option b a set of physical components of a computer which one is correct answer? The correct option is A. Software is a set of instructions that tell the computer what to do. Next test. Which of the following best defines software? Option A, a program or set of programs that enable a computer to perform specific tasks. Option B, a machine language interpreter. Which one is correct? Which option defines the software best? Option A is the correct answer. A program or set of programs that enable a computer to perform specific tasks. Next test. 
which of the following is not a category of software? Option A, application software. Option B, firmware. Which one is not a category of software? Option B is the correct answer because firmware is not a category of software, yet firmware is an embedded software, not a major category like system or application software. Now, what is system software? Option A, software that manages hardware and provides a platform for running applications. Option B, software used only for entertainment is the system software. Which one is correct answer? Option A is the correct answer. Software that manages hardware and provides a platform for running applications is the system software. Next test, what is application software used for? Option A, performing specific user tasks. Option B, managing hardware, hardware resources. Which one is correct option? Option A is the correct option. Application software used for performing specific use, user tasks. That's the end of this episode. Thank you very much.